Hey guys, welcome back to the comic book lowdown. I'm Wellington. I'm bringing you guys my haul video, my lowdown looks video for this week, uh, where I just show you guys what books I got for this week. Um, and I gotta say, this haul, I got six books, and it could go either way. Either it could turn out to be a really good haul, and everything turns out to be, or at least everything for the most part is really solid or all of them could be really subpar um, because really all these books that I've just about except for one book that I picked up this week have all kind of disappointed me at some point <laughs> um, so I don't know what this means for this week's haul I'm hoping that everything turns, or I mean, obviously, I hope that everything turns out great because I buy it, but I at least hope that most of it is really good. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I got six books, and just start showing you guys the books. The first one being Batman issue 34, Zero Year is Now Over. Um, I'm actually excited to read this issue of Batman um, because, well, first of all, while Zero Year was happening and coming out, I was definitely not excited for Batman. Um, but after everything came out, I reread Zero Year in full, really enjoyed it. Um, and so now I'm back on the boat with Batman. And now that it's over, you know, I get to read Batman in the present again. I, I don't even I don't even remember what Batman is like in the present time of the new fifty two. Um the one thing I don't like about this is that Greg Capullo's not on it, so it's got a different feel artistically, but Mateo Scalera's on, on this issue, so it's not like it's an artist I don't like that's on it. So that's definitely really cool. You know, I get, you know, the art, I do like the art still. I like Mateo Scalera's art. Um, whoa, let me just touch that. Um, so, yeah, and then Jerry Duggan is also co-writing this issue with Scott Snyder. I like Jerry Duggan, so this issue could turn out to be really good. I'm holding this issue in high hopes, although I think it ties in with Batman Eternal, which I'm not reading. Um, so, I might be confused. Uh, next issue here is one that I'm really excited for. And if I'm a guessing person, it will probably be my pick of the week, unless something surprises me. And that's Original Sin issue number seven. Uh, every issue in this book has been fantastic. It's the best Marvel, not even, it's the best event I've read since getting into comics and I've read you know I read Avengers vs. X-Men I read Age of Ultron unfortunate, unfortunately um, I didn't read I, didn't, I haven't read any of the DC events that have come by like Trinity War or Forever Evil and I didn't read Infinity which I heard was good from Marvel as well but Original Sin is definitely a really good book, and um, I recommend it to a lot of people, actually. So, and that's coming to a close this month, so, you know, the trade will be out relatively soon, I guess. Uh, next issue here, a book that I've been enjoying as of late, um, especially because it's one of the only books at Marvel that is still at two ninety nine. dollars um, and just the story in it is pretty cool. Uh, and this is Thunderbolts issue 29, which is the Punisher versus the Thunderbolts. Uh, can't remember exactly what happened last issue, but, oh wait, yeah, I can. Kind of, uh, Red Hulk is about to really get his stuff rocked by Punisher. Um, and so this, this issue should be cool. Thunderbolts has been pretty good as of late. Um, but if you guys have been watching my videos, you know how up and down I've been with Thunderbolts in the past.
but these are new writers, so I have to give them a chance. Um, this next book, last issue was kind of, didn't do much of anything. Um, but hopefully, at least judging by the cover, a lot of things come together for this issue. And that is Amazing Spider-Man issue number five. Um, I'm kind of... The original Sin tie-ins for, for this book are not... Uh, I guess they're not the greatest. Um, I really just want to get to the Spider-Verse thing, which I also got a poster for, which I'll be hanging up in my room, but one day might replace because of these promotional checklist things. And I just want a full cover poster. But anyways, so I really just want to get to the Spider-Verse story and um, see Dan Slott do something hopefully really cool with the Amazing Spider-Man book, seeing as how he is still on it. I would have preferred that uh, somebody else jump on it after you know, once they relaunch the book, but, you know, he definitely has story to tell. This book, but this next book, definitely, um, the last issue was better, but this book definitely needs, uh, to be, you know, hit the drawing board again. It was once really good, one of my favorite books, and now it's a book that when it comes out, I'm like, crap, you know, I, I pick it up because I've been collecting the character since I started reading comics, pretty much. Um, and he is one of my favorite characters, just what they're doing right now in the book. And I think it's this original Sin. The original Sin story itself is fantastic. Uh, some of the tie-ins, like the Nova tie-ins, are fantastic. Um, I haven't read all the spin-off things, so I'm not sure about that. And I've heard other tie-ins to Original Sin are pretty good. But for this book, they are not that good. They're not, they've not been handled the way they should have been, in my opinion. And that is Deadpool 33. I do like the cover. Um, but the artist on the inside just doesn't fit the book for me, and I hope that he's not staying on the book past uh, these original Sin tie-ins um, because I very much preferred uh, Scott Koblish and um, Mike Hawthorne doing the art in this book and uh, I feel like they've kind of downgraded an artist when really when the uh, $10 marriage issue came out plus the price change when the price went up on this book I think the quality of writing went down so hopefully this book gets better last issue like I said was better than it's been in a couple months but it's been pretty bad so it's not really hard to do that anyways so Deadpool 33 it could go either way be really cool or really just nothing and then finally the last book, I haven't really seen much from it because this is only the second issue, so uh, this is really just me still feeling it out, and this is Spider-Man 2099, another cover that I really love. Peter David's a really good writer. Um, the art in it is pretty good, and uh, just haven't seen much from the book yet since it's only the second issue, uh, so I can't really judge it. Um, I'll probably be sticking on the book anyways throughout the Spider-Verse because, I mean, obviously I'm going to be reading Spider-Verse and I pick up all the Spider-Man titles already, so, um, so yeah, apparently in September, issue number five of this comes out, so this is, it's August, <laughs> So I guess there's going to be a bunch of issues of this book coming out this month, next month. Um, that kind of sucks. But um, yeah, I mean, I pick up every Spider-Man book, so I 
this is going to tie into the Spider-Verse, so I might as well keep on it, at least for that. But anyways, that's it for my video. Pretty long explanation of my haul. But hopefully this video uploads all together on like my last video, which got messed up. And uh, if it does mess up, I'll make sure not to... I'll make sure to be able to fix it this time, unlike last time. But anyways, that's it for me, guys. I'm Wellington signing off for the comic book lowdown. See you guys next time.